Hello, and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this tech tip, I would like to show you how to set up a concentric cylinder geometry on the Discovery HR rheometer for testing low viscosity fluids. Concentric cylinder geometries allow for the rheological characterization of low viscosity fluids and suspensions. In other geometries, such as parallel plates or conin plates, the sample may flow out of the gap or it can be subject to edge fracture at sufficiently high shear rates. In the concentric cylinder, the sample is secured within the container volume, allowing for both the characterization of low viscosity fluids as well as testing at high shear rates. Here, I have a DIN rotor, which works for a wide variety of samples. To start, we will disengage the base magnet to install the Peltier jacket, the cooling lines, and the smart swap cable. Next, we will install the concentric cup into the Peltier jacket by placing it inside and tightening the thumb screws. Install the upper fixture rotor onto the draw rod by holding the rotor secure and tightening the draw rod. In the TRIO software, if a geometry file for a concentric cylinder has not previously been created, the operator will have to create one. Under the geometry list, add a new geometry and select concentric cylinders. Enter in the relevant geometry measurements including rotor diameter, rotor length, and cup diameter, and the geometry material. Exact geometry specifications will depend on the rotor, such as the DIN, recessed, vein, and the cup, such as a traditional cup or the double wall cup. Afterward, TRIOS will bring you to geometry calibration. The calibrations will include inertia, friction, and rotational mappings, all of which can be completed quickly with the on-screen prompts. After the calibrations are done, the next step is to lower the upper fixture closer to the cup by using the bottom arrow displacement key. After this, the zero gap button can be pressed and the instrument will proceed to zero the gap. After the gap is zeroed, the upper fixture can be raised back to the top. The instrument is now ready for experiment design, sample loading, and test execution. When the operator has a desired experiment set up, the cup can be filled with the desired fluid. The minimum volume of fluid required for an experiment, as well as the operating gap, can be found in the geometry section of the experiments window. To proceed with filling, measure out the desired amount of liquid into a graduated cylinder or pipette. With the upper fixture still at the top, proceed to pour this into the cylindrical cup. Then the gap can be lowered to the operating gap. Now, with the fixture mounted and calibrated, and the sample loaded, the operator can start the programmed experiment. In this tech tip, we have learned how to set up a concentric cylinder geometry on the Discovery HR rheometer for characterizing low viscosity fluids. Please stay tuned for more helpful tech tips, and thank you for your interest.